Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode we fucked up the Kraken. In this episode we're gonna fuck up another Kraken I guess. Cause there's, there's multiple Krakens in here. Uh, so that's kind of, uh, hardcore, you know. But, um, there's nothing up there. Figured there would be, but I guess not. Anyway, so, uh, the boss of this place might give you problems, cause I should have gotten the Night Pendant. Uh, I didn't think I sh should have, but now I realize I should have, because the boss of this place has a flash attack that can instantly kill you. Um. Oh no, the flying man died. Uh. So, that's kind of, uh. concerning. That that could be an issue. But, um. I'm hoping that somehow I'm going I'll be able to make it uh, regardless of that I'm hoping that it's not like always going to instant kill me because I do want the flame pendant I really want it it's helpful I promise also one more thing to note before we take on that boss over there once you kill a kraken it stays dead at least I think so uh, that's what happened the last time I played, if memory serves. Anyway, I'm the evil part of your brain. You can't beat me, because you are the one who forced me into being. Now! Immediately! Use! Shield Beta! Trust me! It has Murder Omega! It also has Murder Alpha. It doesn't have any of the in-betweens, amazingly. Uh... So yeah, that didn't really help out, actually. Uh, I'm going to go for a murder of Mega myself. Um, if I die, that's just tough titty, you know? Oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. It has a shield that I didn't know about. Also, I'm about to die. Luckily, I can heal myself. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. God, man. I'm off to a bad start already. Alright. We have 666 HP when fighting Ness's Nightmare. Alright, well, I guess all I can do is really attack. Oh my god, not this shit again. I'm dead once more. Awesome. Recover that shit. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm dead. Alright, bash. Just keep bashing. You know what? I'm not even gonna use uh, psychic powers. I don't need no psychic powers to defeat your ass. It didn't work! Wow! Oh! Oh man, we're getting lucky. Oh my god. Alright, let's see, let's see what goods we have. We don't have any, uh, gut pills, so I'm just gonna keep bashing. Ah, fucking fuck! Glorious light, my ass. <sighs> yeah. Alright, here's the plan. Here's my new and improved plan. I'm gonna cut away, obviously. But my plan is, I'm gonna get the Earth Pendant. Um, and uh, I'm gonna buy Magic Puddings, and the Earth Pendant offers 50% chance of protecting you from the Glorious Light. So, oh, god damn it. So hopefully, that'll work. But honestly, I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you back at the place. Uh, real quick, I want to point out, every time one of the flying men die, uh, they will have a tombstone. So that's something that's really morbid. Anyway, let's take another one with us. Alright, let's try it again. See if we have better luck this time. Whew. Alright, so here's my stuff. I have spicy jerky still. Um, 
Let's just bash it. I don't see what else we can do. Power shield. Oh god, power shield. What am I supposed to do against that? I guess just keep kill hitting him. I don't know. If he has a psychic shield and a power shield, what the fuck? Didn't work, yes! Thank god. Alright, so one thing that often happens with me for some reason... Uh... He will often lose the ability to use PSI because he uses it every turn. Jesus Christ, man! I, how am I supposed to do anything if he has a power shield? All right, uh, gonna recover a little bit. But yeah, shit. So don't worry if he keeps healing himself. Oh God, because eventually he'll run out of uh, psychic points and basically not be able to do anything. Go ahead and do that. HP maxed out. Alright. Power shield, yeah, yeah. I don't know what else to do, honestly, at this point. Because he has a psychic shield, I'll... Thank god that didn't work on me. Yeah, that earth pendant's kind of unnecessary, honestly. Murder alpha. Please run out of psychic points. And please t take down your fucking. Thank God it didn't work on me. Man, I'm kind of nervous. Because I don't want to, like, keep doing this fight for the entire video. I don't want to be here until midnight again. Actually, that was four in the morning. I don't know if I'm winning or not. Holy shit. Oh my god. Alright, the power shield disappeared. That's good. Um. Let's go ahead and heal. Hey, stop doing that! It scares me each time! Another power shield! No! Please die! What will it take to get you to die, man? Oh god. I'm really scared. I really am. Yeah, yeah, shield, shield, shield. <gasps> YES! Oh, dude, I'm so happy. I only used two flying men. Ness heard a familiar voice at the center of the Sea of Eden. Gygus's goal is to destroy you. Listen carefully. Everything in the universe could be destroyed at the hands of Gygus. But he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold that Gygus's attempt will fail. It is because of this, the existence of a boy named Ness. That's me. Listen. Free your mind and know what you must do. Your destiny has already been decided. You. I. Where should we go? You know deep within the reaches of your mind. S -sa Saturn. Saturn Valley. Yes. Go to this valley where the Mr. Saturn live. You'll get something new there. Soon Magic Camp will be no more. We must be quick. Ness really heard his own voice. Go to Saturn Valley. Go to Saturn Valley now! Ness was filled with the power of the giant stepped. Ness speed increased by five. Now I'm not going to read this because this is like a overflow of text right here. Two hundred thousand experience. We are now at level ninety one. Te teleport beta. Hmm. 
Now usually you level up quite a bit, but I was at an already high level, so... Nace made all the hidden powers his own. Nace absorbed the power of the land into his heart, and Magic Ant was no more. He didn't use all the flying men, but I don't really mind, honestly. Now you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It is time to get up. Soundstone that Ness used to have is now gone. What happened, Ness? You've been unconscious for a long time. You kept saying something. Saturn Valley? What's waiting for us there? Anyway, we need to teleport. Yes, we do, but we aren't allowed to teleport in this place, so. Oh, it's gonna do it for us! Okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and find out what they want. Yaha! This Mr. Saturn's are incredible folk. In the Apple Kid, he is a most exception exceptional young man. Very different from other kids. Anyway, the prototype face story has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig resem someone resembling a pig wearing clothes mis took Mr. Saturn captive. Stole the device. Zoom! <laughs> Zoom. Excellent, excellent. Everything proceeded as planned. Dr. Andernuts and Mr. Saturn and I worked together. Finally complete the face sword. The purpose of the device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points within the same time period. <coughs> uh, it is able, however, to search out the locations of enemies. Right now, it is indicated the presence of enemies in the lost underworld. Let's read this guy. What? I didn't. Okay, well, I guess we're doing this now. I didn't mean to. We appar it, It's apparently a microwave oven. Hmm, it doesn't work. One thing is missing. About that. But that one material cannot normally be found on the Earth. The material I'm thinking of came, came from a meteorite. I fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? Yes, in the very beginning of the game. Eureka! That's it! With even just a piece of the meteorite, I can synthesize the material Zexonite. It's been a long night, ladies and gentlemen. I doubt that your mortal enemy, Gygus, or whatever, will allow you to go to Onet and get a piece of the meteorite. But now Onet is in his evil hands. You must go, though, so take every possible precaution. Mr. Shadens have introduced some of their de new developments at the shop. Please check it out. Alright, so I'm not doing that in this episode, but I will be going to their shop. I miss Doc- Oh, that's Dr. Saturn Zoom. Ding! K.O. Zoomer. I love Mr. Saturn. I really do. I'm so sad that our adventure is coming to an end. Near end, anyway. Do you want slumber? No. I kinda want a shop. Where is the shop? I forget where the shop is. What the fuck? I think new things, difficult things from now on. Okay. Um, sorry, man. Yeah, I just got done watching The Big Lebowski. Uh, excellent film. Really liked it. Eureka, ding. And, uh, I'm gonna have to watch it again, because it, it was really good. Do they even- are they- here's the shop. Combine ding! Yay! Zoom! Well, none of this is really anything, you know, much. What was they trying to say? Uh, uh let's see. Alright, literally nothing I want. Hmm. Let's see what this guy's selling. 
insecticide spray, refreshing herb, peanut cheese bar. I didn't know that was a thing. Picture postcard. Doubt that's a thing. Alright, that was really underwhelming. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to do something to end off the episode, but I can't. I can't really do that. Because it's kind of in on it. <laughs> anyway, so... In the next episode, we will be going to Annette and getting that piece of meteorite. Uh, I don't know if this was a short episode or not. I haven't been keeping track, but I kind of want to go to sleep now, so I'm going to do that. Anyway, see you guys next time on Let's Play Earthbound. Goodbye.